When you're focusing on your kids and everybody else, what do you think you're avoiding? Me, <laughs> totally. But go a little deeper. When you say me, what do you mean? What aspect of you could you potentially be avoiding? So when I was growing up, my mom did things so differently than I do it. And so uh, probably the pain of not having it the way that I either thought it should be or wanted it to be. Mm, yes. Give me an example. And thank you for going here. Um, well, my mom is uh, pretty much a textbook narcissist, and so everything had to focus around her. So I learned at a really young age how to make her the attention. And even like at the beginning of doing this, like I could speak to a room of 4,000 people as long as it's not about me. When it's about me, it just gets like, um, it gets really hard. And I'm okay with hard, I'm a cancer survivor, but I, I don't know. I, I... Much more than a cancer survivor. Um, one, two, thank you for going there. This makes total sense. The pain body, the trauma body is, does what it does. But the question, Heather, and everybody else you get to sit with is, am I done with at that point? Like, am I, am I willing to let my life be a reflection of the pain that I felt as a kid? Or do I want to create something and show by way of my demonstration, my life, my kids, something other than this martyrdom and this mom guilt and this falling on my own sword because I don't want to have to look.